My name is Nick Patience. I'm a co-founder at 451 Research, which is now part of S&P Global Market Intelligence. I'm a research director for AI applications and platforms, and I lead the AI and machine learning research here. We're seeing an evolution in the roles of data scientists and engineers at plants and factories. Um, the main point being really that, that the engineers need to be more involved in the building and training of AI models to the point where they can take the lead in that. Now we're not usually there, we're not really there yet in most situations, uh, and that's because the tools are not really available to enable engineers to do that. Uh, it's still very much usually a project that's led by data scientists. Now obviously there are only a certain number of data scientists around and there are more uh, engineers in manufacturing plants than there are ever going to be data scientists. And so uh, technology vendors have recognized that and they're building no-code and low-code tools uh, to help data, data scientists and engineers collaborate uh, in building and training these models. And that's what it must be. It must be a collaborative exercise between the two roles. It's important that AI can learn from the experienced experts on, on the factory floor um, because that experience, what we call tribal knowledge, um, is, is so valuable and, um, and something that all organizations will want to be able to capture, even if that's not particularly obvious how you can do that yet through technology. For example, an engineer who's experienced with machinery can often detect a smell or a change in the smell that a, that a machine is giving off and understands that that smell indicates that there's some imminent problem with that machine which may lead it to break it down. Now we're obviously not necessarily at the stage yet where we can immediately translate that into an AI model, uh, but we need to get to that point. In practical terms, an engineer-built AI is an AI where the knowledge of that engineer has been captured in the AI model. That's something that technology vendors understand is an obvious kind of problem and solution pair, and that's why they're building um, low-code, no-code tools in order to be able to do that. When we get to that point, when we can capture that kind of knowledge, we can build semi-autonomous and autonomous systems. And as we roll out more and more of those kind of autonomous systems at scale, it will have a positive effect on both the top and bottom lines of manufacturers.